So on the Nintendo Switch Amino a while back, I made a uh, post called Nintendo Switch Vintage Controller Ideas. That post is extremely popular, it's my most popular post ever, with 101 likes as of right now, and doesn't seem to be slowing down that much. So this idea I decided to bring to video form because it was so popular. This idea is that you can use your retro Nintendo Switch, or no, just re any Nintendo controller on your Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be reading out the post as, it, as if it were a script, so in case you prefer the video version, this is the video version. So what if you could use those old, dusty N64 controllers and NES controllers to actual use? What if Nintendo made an adapter for the Switch that allowed you to use those controllers on the actual Switch? Here's my idea. Introducing the Switch Vintage Controller Adapter. How does it work? Well, first plug in the curved, large object into your Nintendo Switch console, and then choose the controller you'd like from all of the eight systems of the Nintendo brand. For example, if you wanted to use your NES controller, then plug it into the small converter label, labeled NES, and then plug the other end into the curved port on the adapter called NES 1985. There are eight adapters included in the system, along with the adapter. Now, there are some drawbacks to this, though. It does not support wireless. Wireless is a totally different thing. Now, if you want to use a Nintendo Wiimote, there will be an app launched, and I am going to be tweaking some of the things on the post. So, there will be an app launch where you can uh, use your Nintendo Wiimote um, via that, and it'll like configure, um, it'll like auto map kind of the um, the buttons with the traditional Switch controller, and then you can just use a re like a re regular controller, like. Uh, pretty much just a uh, enhanced Nintendo Switch Joy-Con flipped over. So, all accessories such as the Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack will also work. However, some controllers don't have all the buttons required. Well, Nintendo came up with a solution, or in the idea. They will be releasing an eShop app that will, that will require that will be installed with the drivers for the adapter. In the app, you can easily map buttons to your choice. Some games may even use this adapter like an upcoming Smash game. Also in case you're interested also in case you're interested, sorry, I'm messing this up. The Wii U GameCube app adapter will be compatible with the Nintendo Switch console. Again, this is not this is not confirmed. This is simply my rumor or idea. However, if you, you want to use a Wii U gamepad, we have an additional announcement. You can pair the gamepad to the Nintendo Switch console without the adapter, but you also can on the adapter. The gamepad can also play some games away from the TV, but only within a few feet from the console to maintain a solid connection. Luckily, the console is portable. The device will be sold in the summer for a price of $79.99. It will also come with a GameCube controller and a Wii nutchuck, a nunchuck. All of our controllers will be released in the summer, so you can buy them s them separately. Okay, so that was my idea that I talked about. Now, of course, there's going to be some things I'm going to change. Uh, one of those things is that um, the Nintendo Switch um, like button map thing would be a separate app um, for the Wiimote. I personally, my favorite part is the gamepad. I just think that idea... Uh, for it to use your Wii U gamepad on the Switch, because the Wii U gamepad is without a doubt my favorite controller I've ever used. I just, I really like it, and I, if I could use that on a modern Nintendo console, that would be, like, fantastic. So that's why, like, of course, probably the Wii U gamepad would have one of those driver apps where you gotta map them, but still, I think that, like, the Wii U gamepad is the biggest selling point. Now, other people were also commenting in the, um, the comment section below, which is rather interesting. Um, uh, Pizza Baby, level 8 on the, you know, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna question the name. They said that what Nintendo is probably gonna do is 
just take the idea of the Joy-Con. Like, I'm at, all right, so the photo we showed is, all right, picture um, a GameCube controller split in half and taking the pl place of the Joy-Cons in the portal mode. So uh, one piece of the GameCube controller will slide onto the right side, and the left side will be, um, and it, the left um, side will slide onto the left side. That kind of stuff is what he said, and that is actually, like, when I think about it, that's a really cool idea if you could have all eight controllers. Now, of course, things like the NES kind of really would work because it's way too small to actually work like that, but still, it's interesting. That's one of, that's something that they said would be so good. Besides that, other people said, like, um, Team Cloverleaf, this would be so useful. Come on, Nintendo, step it up! And, um, Stone Yoshi said, where would you plug it up? Now, people said, when in portable mode, plug it into the USB-C port. No way you're not gonna plug it into the USB-C uh, USB port. I'm sorry, but from what I've seen, plugging it into the charger port, like accessories like that, can actually damage it. Now, like, I've seen stuff before about that happening, and you don't want to take a risk like that. But, I was thinking via USB. But, maybe for portable mode, um, like, a, um, a Bluetooth, which will be perfectly fine. Um, that could, like, that's what other people said, and I agree with them, Bluetooth. But besides that, that's kind of the entire post. I also have an additional announcement to make about these other productions. These type of videos are not going to be made as much. Why? I'm going to be taking Vizerlo Productions back to its roots. I originally started with Sonic Mania Everything You Need to Know and why Super Mario Odyssey isn't a mind game. Now I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to be launching a survey in the corner and I just want to know what do you think? What do you think about this? Now of course um, if I don't launch the survey that's, that's because I've already made up my mind. But if there is a survey, then you can vote. And if you can just comment what you want in the comment section. So that's what I think. Hope you guys enjoyed. There are, of course, some things that I weren't able to cover officially. But the point is that I'm going to be going back to scripted content because it's more tidier, more professional, and that's. That's not, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, but I may may launch a um a survey. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. This is Vizerlo Productions, and see you.